The island of Sodor is surrounded by beautiful blue seas Fields of green and sandy yellow beaches too The island also has loads of trains and railway lines But who's that? Just puffing round the track It's a tank engine that in his name told us he will keep you to me Friends working together to make anything just work Cause when an obstacle comes along A train wreck makes it worthless When friendship and teamwork is on your side Nothing's impossible with Thomas and his friends Rosie is a pink American-built tank engine. She is a mixed traffic engine, so she can be seen pulling passengers or goods trains, and she is a good friend to everyone. But she is often known as a tomboy and has always been idolizing Thomas, which sometimes annoys him. When she first came to the island of Sodor, she met Thomas getting ready to go to High Farm. Hello Thomas. What are you doing? It's Thomas's birthday. I want to get all her presents up to High Farm in good time. High winds don't bother me. Or me. I'll come as your back engine. No thank you Rosie. I'll man it here on my own! However, Thomas DID need Rosie's help when he deliberately got stuck in a landslide while trying to keep going. took Thomas's train onto the farm and she and Alice's family got help to rescue Thomas and ever since the two of them became good friends. Rosie and the Storm One day Thomas and Rosie were helping Mavis, Bill and Ben at Santa Island Quarry. The storm might be coming so they were sent to help get a big order ready for when Neville arrived. But that didn't stop the two engines from having fun. I'll beat you on this one, Thomas. <laughs> Fat chance, Rosie. I'll win this one and shove the most trucks. We'll see about that. And the two engines raced away. They were having a race. Number one always comes first. <laughs> we'll see about that. Then there was trouble. Mavis was loading trucks at the hopper. Thomas arrived in first place and stopped just in time. But Rosie didn't. Bill and Ben saw everything. <laughs> That's the first time I saw a gleaming blue engine get messy at a hopper. What do you think, Ben? Cried right, Bill. It's not normal. That get dirty here. <laughs> What's been going on here? Rosie! Look at what you've done to my paintwork! And I've only just been repainted yesterday! I'm sorry Thomas, it was an accident! 
Are you okay, Thomas? Oh dear, that looks nasty. The fact controller isn't going to be pleased about this. Um, it was all Rosie's fault, Mavis. <gasps> oh, all right, Thomas. I am not getting involved with your argument. Why don't you go and rest at the engine shed? I can finish off here. Um. Thomas puffed off to the quarry sheds without another word. Hi, Rosie. Weren't you playing with Thomas? We were. But I was going to say that Bill. Yeah, what he said. Thomas is just too fussy and grumpy by his blue paint, so I'm not playing with him anymore. What are you two doing? We got a big order of stone to be filled up in these trucks. Another one for who? This one's for Murdoch for him this evening, and it's a lot of trucks, so we're wondering if you would like to help us. This cheered Rosie right up. Rosie was soon enjoying herself. The harder she worked, the dustier she became. But she didn't mind. Bill and Ben were impressed. Soon, the job was finished, and Rosie and the twins went into empty sidings to rest. Thank you for helping us. Rosie, I've been a big help. Yeah! No problem, you two. Then, there was a roar of thunder. The storm was coming. <gasps> oh no! Oh no, it's starting to rain, Ben. We better head back to the quarry sheds. I better hurry to my shed too. Then, there was trouble. Rosie's driver had accidentally sent Rosie to reverse, and Rosie hit the bumpers and into a patch of mud. Rosie was stuck. Oh no! Help! Help! Ben! I'm stuck! Don't worry, Rosie. We'll get you out. Bill and Ben coupled up to Rosie and pulled as hard as they could. But no matter what they did, Rosie wouldn't budge. She starts moving, Ben. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? You're in front, Bill, so you'll have to go and get help. I'll stay with Rosie. I'm on it, Ben. Meanwhile, Thomas was still sulking at the quarry sheds when Neville arrived with Mavis. The quarry manager had told Neville that he can shelter at the quarry until the storm had passed. Hello there, Thomas. W what's the matter? He and Rosie had an argument. Really? What about? My scratched paintwork, but it was all Rosie's fault! Thomas, I know you don't always get along with Rosie, but this can't go on. Yes, Rosie only wanted to be your friend. She didn't mean any harm. But Thomas was still being very stubborn until... Where's Rosie now? And where are Bill and Ben? I don't want them out in this weather. You shouldn't have left Rosie on her own, Thomas. Thomas knew Neville was right. Now, he was worried for Rosie. Meanwhile, Bill had to get to the other side of the quarry, but the storm was getting worse, and he was getting scared. I don't like this, but I have to help for Rosie. Bill soon arrived at the quarry sheds. Bill? Where are Ben and Rosie? Rosie's stuck in the mud. 
Ben stayed behind to look after her. Oh my! That sounds like a job for a big engine to pull her out. I'll go and get help. Thomas felt terrible. If only he hadn't been so cocky about his paintwork. Oh no, this is all my fault. I'll go and help too. No, Thomas, you stay here. It's bad enough having two engines stuck in the storm. Lead the way, Bill. Meanwhile, Rosie was still stuck as the storm was getting worse. She was beginning to feel very scared. Don't worry, Rosie. Help is on the way. Can't you go any faster, Neville? I'm already at top speed, Bill! Meanwhile, Thomas was getting more and more worried for Rosie, and soon he can hardly contain his feelings any longer. I can't just sit around here doing nothing! But Thomas, the storm! I don't care about the storm! I'm going off to help Rosie! Meanwhile, Bill and Neville soon arrived at Rosie's aid. Bill, you came back? Of course we did, Ben. Don't worry, Rosie. We'll get you out. Oh, I hope so. Neville was coupled up to Rosie and pulled as hard as he could, but no matter what he did, it was hopeless. Uh, it's no good. She won't budge. I'm never going to get out of here. Oh dear. Now what are we going to do? Just then, Thomas arrived. Thomas, I'm so glad to see you. But Thomas, the storm. I know, but I couldn't be Rosie in trouble. But I have an idea. Was that Thomas? If we all pull together, we might have a chance of getting Rosie out of the mud. Oh yes, we could all pull together. That sounds like a good idea, Thomas. Even Rosie had to agree. Let's do it! So all the engines were coupled up together, and they all pulled as hard as they could. And with one mighty heave, Rosie was free and out of the mud. Hooray! We did it! Thank you, everyone! That's all right, Rosie. Yes. Now we better go back and get sheltered from the storm and get nice and warm again. Soon, the engines were back at their sheds and out of the storm. When the storm eventually died down, Neville was soon on his way with his train. The Fat Controller soon arrived on board Percy. He had come to see the engines. He knew all about Thomas and Rosie's argument, and Rosie getting stuck in the mud. Bill and Ben, I'm surprised to be saying this, but you two were really brave to stay out in the storm to help keep Rosie company and help to her rescue. You two were really brave engines indeed. As a reward, you two can have a new coat of paint. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. And as for you, Thomas, I've heard all about what happened to you and Rosie, and... Don't be cross with Thomas, sir. It's my fault he got scratched. I'm sorry I bumped you, Thomas. I'll never bump you again. That's all right, Rosie. It was just a game that got a bit too rough. <laughs> 
Well, I'll tell you what you two are. A bunch of scamps, that's for sure. And Thomas was very naughty for accusing Rosie and for not doing as he was told. But without him, we would never have got you out. I'd do anything for a friend, sir. That's good, Thomas. As a reward, you two will join Bill and Ben for a new coat of paint. And Thomas, don't be so boastful and arrogant about your paint next time. Thank you, sir. And I promise I'll never be sulky about this again. All the engines were pleased that Thomas and Rosie were friends again. Everything in the quarry was now back to normal.